Okay, welcome back to Rick's Radio Conversions. Uh, today we have uh, Clyde's 19, I want to say it's a 63 uh, Plymouth Fury. Yep, that's right. Um, one of the really tiny radios, uh, not very deep. Um, uh, this was an AM radio and it's now been converted to AM, FM, high definition FM, auxiliary input, Bluetooth and USB. Basically it's got all the toys. Um, and we're going to go through all the modes today. Um, and the other thing that we got this radio, never seen this before, but uh, unfortunately the dial scale was almost wiped clean of the black. Um, and uh, through one of our other uh, our other affiliates, we were able to get a, uh, a sticker reprinted exactly the way the factory one screen print was, at least. So it looks pretty good. Um, it's all period correct with all the right uh, fonts and all that other stuff. So we hope uh, we hope Clyde enjoys it. Um, so uh, we're in FM mode right now, and some of the things you're going to get, Clyde, you're going to get this Bluetooth push button here um, you can kind of see that here and you'll get some uh, auxiliary input cables uh, and a few other things um, so right now we're in FM and so um, we don't typically do the, the remote light anymore we have to do it with the HD so you know what your stations are on unless you're using the FM Connect app, and we'll go over that as well. Um, but if you wanted to know what station we're on, you just go ahead and hit your, hit your Bluetooth push button. FM 90.3. 90.3. Um, so that's the FM station. And as you kind of saw earlier... All of your uh, all of your existing uh, push buttons work as they did before. Pull them out and set your set your channel. Um, and then we're going to go over some manual tuning here. So yellow means FM, and then when we get on an HD station, you'll see it kind of switch from aqua. It's flashing a little bit there, and then it'll go solid once it gets a good lock. Um, I thought I did earlier. Uh, it's also pretty cloudy out where we are right now. And we may not get a good lock, maybe. Uh, anyway, you got to get the picture. Um, if you go to hd.com, if you search your area, uh, it'll come up with all your channels. We only have a couple uh, right now. Um, I think this one's a little bit stronger. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, so that's the the FM portion. If you wanted to go to AM, off and then on again. Now we're in AM, red light. We've got a few stations, not not many. We'll go back to FM. So that's the AM FM portion of it and we've kind of showed you the HD. The other piece that Clyde wanted was he wanted the uh, the interior light bulb, uh, the indicator bulb to come on with when you turn the lights on. So, uh, you know, that's uh, kind of simulating um, the headlights on and we'll leave that on probably for the rest of the video. So that's, uh, that's the AM FM HD portion of it. Uh, We'll do the auxiliary input, and that's when you use your device and um, an auxiliary input. This is all corded. And the only thing that this here is doing is this is just uh, um, using the amplifier uh, inside the radio with a control. Always make sure your volume is turned up. And then we'll go ahead and hit play. Sweep on the left channel. Doing. On the right, channel. right and left channel checks. That's kind of how that works. And then uh, Sweep on the left. you go to pause there and 
If you wait 20 seconds or, and the green light comes on as well, that means you're in aux mode. Um, or if you push the put button, it'll tell you you're in aux, but aux as well. And you can either wait till that time's out or go off and then on again. AM, off, on again. Back to the FM. Um, so the next thing we'll do is we will do the uh, USB. Um, you'll get a USB like this. It only has one song, but you'll have to put some more songs on it. And you just kind of stick that in. And then that, that's got your magenta color there as well. Uh, the neat thing about the USB is uh, in the past, uh, you go up on the dial, you fast forward. Or you hit your push button once. And then if you uh, hit your push button twice, that goes backwards. So that's the uh, the USB, and then uh, we'll get out of this because the uh, the Bluetooth does take a little bit of time now with the uh, the new app. Um, and you'll get the link uh, for this, uh, Clyde, but there's a link to your smartphone, FMR Connect. Um, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and click this on, and... Uh, ...makers of installation, and we've got to stay on the job. Okay, here we go, where we gotta uh, now select the BTU. So we'll select that guy. Okay, and then you go jump over here real quick over to your settings, and it should come up here as well. I always allow the contact contacts because I think that has something to do with um, it announcing the name. And we'll go ahead and leave this on the rest of the uh, we'll go ahead and leave this on the rest of the video so now that you have your smart uh, app up here this tells you a lot of stuff it tells you that you're boxed for FM it tells you uh, you have AM available, Bluetooth, USB is uh, not plugged in at the moment. It even tells you uh, what um, what station you're on. And there's a few things that, uh, that you can do um, with the tuning, which we didn't go over that earlier. And we'll go down here on the dial. You can actually see your... Uh, your station's changing. So if you go up twice on the dial, this thing will start to scan. Oh, I'm sorry, it won't because the app is working. So if you touch the scan, now we are scanning digitally up the dial. This thing has so many different options, it's, uh, it's hard sometimes to keep track. You can kind of see our, our stations are moving along. And we'll let it go a few. Got a lot of static. We've got a lot of... Uh... So you can see here, This here's an HD station. Um, that's uh, there. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and hit hold. So now we're down here on the dial, but we're really up a little bit further. Um, so now, now you're sta now you're locked on this station. If you wanted, if this had more than one station, uh, you would hit twice on your push button. One, two. Yep, doesn't have any other ones. So if you press it once. I got, I got a new. I have a new iPhone that I'm using as the recording and. It's so got the USB-C in my microphone to do this as a US or as a lightning cable. So uh, 
just bear with me here. So anyway, so that's this piece right here. Um, here are your settings for the radio. So, uh, and you can change your name to whatever you want here, Clyde. Uh, I got the EQ on, you can change it if you want more bass. You can do all of those different things. Loudness is on. Um, you can even turn uh, different types of, uh, if you want, if you don't want the AM to ever come on, you can do that here as well. Um, balance and fader are here. That's uh, rear. Uh, I'm sorry, that's uh, balance. That was uh, right and left. And there is fader. So that's rear. And uh, front. There we go. Um, let me go back here. Info just kind of tells you everything about the radio um, that this actually has a, a physical tone which we'll go over here in a minute I think we did that virtual balance and fader your aux input is configured to Vox um, your AM FM is on power cycle basically uh, your uh, frequency spectrums how your speakers are connected uh, and all the different versions and things like that and uh, this is your signal strength and your, your uh, your uh, decibels and then you can do some resets here I don't kind of really uh, uh, unless you really need to reset it because you messed something up I kind of tell people to stay away from that and then uh, the manuals now uh, they'll take you right to uh, the section um, for whatever you need to go look at which is kind of cool your uh, apps are here as well um, so that's kind of neat to do um, so that's uh, that's this piece and you can actually stream and stuff uh, you can turn that all on from here or you can do this all right not, not, not real quite sure what happened there but uh, I had to reset my phone so from our app, we go up on the dial. And just like before, we can also do all the same things. Push button, fast forward. We can rewind. And then you can also do these same things from the FMR app. So you can kind of see here the controls. We're on Bluetooth. Again, same thing with the push button. So uh, again, m many different ways to uh, to get this to work. And I don't think we went over um, the voice controls. Uh, so on the push button, you just hold it once. And that'll uh, go into pause mode. And I'll put this down here for a second. And uh, so if you push and hold your push button. What time is it? It's 7.03 p.m. So again, some other neat things on how you can do your, uh, your, um, controls and all those other different things that so you drive by drive directions now if you just hold for one second we'll go back to streaming that's kind of cool and uh i didn't go out of order but you balance and tone bass and tone work the same bass travel wherever you like that. And I'll stream, I'll, I'll, I'll put all of these pieces of the video together. Um, but uh, that's, uh, that's kind of it in a nutshell, uh, Clyde. Again, sorry this took, uh, took so long to get back to you, but uh, we're gonna box this up and uh, ship it out to you tomorrow. 
You're also going to get a, uh, an external, speak, uh, external microphone as well. This has an internal microphone that is kind of pointed down here at the buttons, um, which, uh, I mean, it, you can tell here that this thing knew what I was saying, but once you put it in the car and put the faceplate on it, it um, if you have any distortions, you may have to use the external microphone, but I've had pretty good luck in my own car, so uh, I think it'll be okay. Uh, anyway, that's it for now. Uh, have a good night. Well, I